to him will I give power over the nations. But you notice, but you notice in the beginning it said, but that which thou already has, hold fast till I come. We already, we're already in the beginning of getting, of getting all this. We're, we're, we're storing up. We're storing up our treasures for heaven. Lord, the most, the house has already given us a little piece of, 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 of what He's going to give us in the kingdom. This knowledge and understanding. Get that, you know, get that one revelation where it said that he that he that he that, he that, uh, he that endured to the end, basically, well, he, man, man. that's the one that you, I had uh, that you had read. You wanted me to find the answer about uh, what the tree of life was in Revelations. Uh, he that so I will give I will give uh, privilege basically to drink out of the fountain. It's already, and, it, and look, and the truth, it was freely given. It was freely given. And we didn't get, the most I didn't say, you know, I mean, we, gotta, we gotta work 10 years off before you can taste the truth. You know, whatever, you gotta sell me your house right now, or whatever, you know, whatever. These silly examples y'all people try to give. It was freely. But he's gonna, free, he's gonna freely give it to those that deserve it. I it has to come from him. Yeah. You can't, you can't earn it. Yeah, I was trying, like I said, you know, the Lord said, been, uh, the elect have been predestined from the foundations of the earth, so they're going to receive it regardless in the latter days. Yeah, but, you're, but that's what we're getting right. We're already being freely given a piece of what the kingdom, because the scriptures tell you, man, that the spirit is searching out all things in the beginning. All right, right now we're searching those things out. We're not, we're not really, we're not able to receive it, but we're given we're given uh, example or not examples. We're given uh, we're given the truth as far as like we're able to see certain things. But in the, in the kingdom, we're gonna we're gonna that's where we're gonna truly start getting everything. We're gonna truly our understanding, our cerebral capa our cerebral capacity is gonna be opened up. The blessings are gonna be given. All right. From the, from the spirit, the word, we're getting a glimpse of what we're gonna receive. All right. Words that mean it. Words. That's why the elders always say, go back to the etymology of the words and, 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 and break down words. Words are words. That's knowledge. That's science. So if, if it says you're going to rule nations, we're going to rule nations. We're going to rule the heathen. We're going to rule over the heathen. There's no if buts about that. I'm going to finish this with Revelations 2. Revelations 2 and 27. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. As the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I received of my father, and I will give him the morning star. He that hath the ear that him hear with the spirit say it unto the churches. And, and real quick, like he said, that, that, the, that uh, he shall rule with the rod of iron, and they shall be broken as a potter and break with the vessel. That, like the brother said, you know, you ain't gonna have a, a, a cracker standing up next to you in the kingdom, man, being like, oh, uh, hey, I think you should. Uh, Tell that guy to go do that or do this or or I think you should let him go uh, govern this, this little piece of land today. No. The scriptures tell you that no unclean, no unclean things shall come into the city of, of, of Israel. Alright, they're not gonna be an undefiled Edomite in the kingdom. Put down. They're gonna be put down once and for all. 
I remember me and his brother, we had a, we thought about it one day, you know, kind of fantasizing about like what, like imagine that Yahweh Shai telling two brothers to go take out Atlanta, Atlanta Esau real quick because he, uh, he, he did something against Yahweh Shai that Yahweh Shai didn't like. You know, just, you know, it's, Israel's going to be on top. The scriptures tell you that uh, we're going to beat our swords and our weapons, uh, we're gonna, or not, we're going we're gonna to basically destroy our weaponry because we're not going to need it in that time. We're not going to ever need it ever again. Powers, the power of Israel is going to be back. All right, the the the, uh, the, 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 the surname of Jacob, that, that his name Israel is going to truly be in effect in that time. Judgment's going to be at its all all time at its all time tough forever. You will never be able to you will never be able to deceive these people ever again. You will never be able to you will never ha ever have the chance to try to be a next superpower or to try to take out Yahweh Shai or to make war with his children ever again. You're never gonna hurt this earth again or the, or, or the universe. This is uh, Isaiah 62 saying, go through, go through the gates. Prepare ye the way of the people. Cast up, cast up the highway. Gather up, gather out the stones. Lift up a standard for the people. And that's what we're doing right now. We're bearing witness to the truth of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, letting you know that the, uh, the heathen are about to fall, America is about to be destroyed, the economy is about to crash, and the, we're going to push the RFID chip on those that need it, that, on those that are going to accept it and be put in the lake of fire. And the standard is His truth. And Yahweh Yahweh Shai. It says, Behold, the Lord hath proclaimed unto the end of the world. Say ye to the daughter of Zion, Behold, thy salvation comes. His reward is with them, and his work before him. And they shall, and they shall call them a holy people, the redeemed of the Lord. And thou shalt be called sought out, and sin not forsaken. That's why in the Deuteron Deuteronomy it says, "O happy of thy Israel, who are like unto thee, who what people is like unto thee, that power thy excellency, the Lord." And this is all coming to the elect, and to the children of Israel back in the kingdom. Be in authority again, and it's not about it's, a, it's not it's no power trip. There's no power trip with Yahweh shining Yahweh over in the, in the heavens. He's not like he, he, it's not about a power trip. It's about what's right and what was and what was made from the foundation of the earth. Like we read in Second Edges, who's who who was really made for? That's why I was saying the wicked man just they just got in a uh, they got a, a, a sucker a, they got a sucker punch basically. That's all it was. But it's going to be put back in the order whenever the kingdom comes. Right now, we're, we're, we're doing that right now. The brothers are getting themselves in order, preparing themselves, uh, drawing in the elect. And then when we get in the kingdom, Yahweh Shai is going to make it perfect. He's going to lay it out. out. He's going to uh, uh, smooth out the rough edges and then down us with the rest of the knowledge and understand that we didn't have. This is Baruch 4 and 1. This is the book of the commandments of God and the law that endures forever. All that they keep, all they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. Turn thee, O Jacob, and take hold of it. Walk in the presence of the light thereof, that thou mayest be illuminated. Like it didn't say walk in darkness, it says walk in light. And that light is his word. Give not thine honor, and, it, and it, what I said right there, that thou mayest be illuminated. Because this, this light will enlighten you, this word will enlighten you. It will open up parts of your mind that were never opened up before. It will make you seek that that you've never seen before. It gives you the ability to discern, discernment, you will cast right to judgment. It will become so natural to where you're just walking through and you know how to maneuver. How the situation without having to do it. Like in the, in the beginning when you first come in. It, because the Spirit is guiding you. That's part of that power of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shad that we receive here on this side. And that's what that's what's gonna happen when we're put in those perilous times in the in the, in the, Jacob, in the time of Jacob's trouble. Yahweh Shad is gonna be guiding us. We're gonna be like, man, how did we how did I get out of that motherfucker? How did I get out of that situation? But we're gonna know at the end that we're gonna give all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shad. Because it wasn't us, it's not us. It's not us brothers. 
that are doing this <laughs> on by ourselves. Verse three, Baruch, uh, four and three. Give not thy honor to another. It says, give not thy honor to another, nor the things that are profitable unto thee to a strange nation. That's right. That's what happened here. As we were reading about a minute ago, uh, the heathen basically took over. The heathen not, not that you want to. Well, that scripture that I read in Isaiah, or Jeremiah says, uh, why, 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 why shouldn't thy self deceive and alone? For you taught, you taught the, uh, uh, the strangers thy ways. to another of the things that are profitable to the to a strange nation. You know? You cast it off what you want, what you love, what, 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 was, what was good to you for, for their bullshit. You know? And, 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 uh, and, and again, that, 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 that alone is telling that the most I am dealing with no other nations. He says, give not thy honor to another, because this is our honor. This is our, our crown. This is our salvation. This is our buckler. All right? Give not thy honor to another, nor the things that are profitable unto thee to a strange nation. Because the other nations are going to trample on. They're going to cast it away. They ain't going to use it. They're gonna, they can't use it. They can't do nothing with it. They're unprofitable branches, man. They're corrupt as two. Verse 4. O Israel, happy are we. For things that are pleasing to the are made known unto us. It's just, it's made, it's, it's only, it's all to Israel, man. It's only given to Israel. And you make you your Latinos and Native American Indian, that's who it's given to. That's who we're telling you because you have to understand that you are the chosen people. You Mexicans, man, you need to wake up and come out that pride, man. But we know you ain't gonna get there until all hell starts popping off because there ain't too many Latinos out there on the highways and the byways, man. It's all Judah because Judah's the main head. Judah's the head that's gonna rouse everybody up. Baruch chapter 3, uh, verse, uh, Baruch chapter 3, verses 35. This is our God, and there should none other be accounted of in comparison to him. He had found out all, he had found out all the way of knowledge, and had given it to Jacob, his servant, and to Israel, his beloved. So, that's it. Yeah. No, that's plain. There's no, really, having to break that down at all. That's who it is. And that's the, the Spirit directed it to come to this towards this way to where we're going to speak that salvation is only for Israel. And all this book is only given to Israel. The knowledge and wisdom, the knowledge, understanding, wisdom, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is only given to Israel. You Negro, Latino, Native American Indians. And we got to make that clear because they don't know who we're talking about. We got to make it known that Israel is the you Negro, Latinos, and Native American Indians. This is Baruch 4. And for, O Israel, happy are we, for, for things that are pleasing to Yahweh are made known unto us. Be of good cheer, my people, the memorial of Israel. You were sold to nations, not for your destruction, but because you moved God to wrath. You were delivered unto the enemy. For you provoked him that made you by sacrificing unto devils and not to Yahweh. See, in the beginning, man, it was all good. You were given the, the most beautiful thing on the planet that could be given to a man. The most beautiful thing that, that came out of, I wasn't even out of, I was literally out of our world. You, you were given something that beautiful. And then what did you, you do? Like the brothers got on real hard about, in the beginning of the lesson, you, 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 wanted to, you wanted to murmur and, and mock and, and say that you were better off being oppressed. You have a, a, the forehead of a whore, hard-headed, stubborn, nasty, man. Uh, Baruch 4 and 6, you were sold to the nations, not for your destruction, but because you moved God, Yahweh, to wrath. You were delivered unto the enemies, for you provoked him 
that made you by sacrificing unto the devils and not to the hell. Can you hear from and Real quick, that, that's that, going back to the whole enemy thing or the heathen. That's the only reason why the heathen ever got to where they got today. Only because and, you, and everything goes back to Israel. Everything goes back to the chosen people of God, of God of Yahweh. Israel. They say, it's all about Israel. You were, you were given into the hands of the enemies. They have the authority over you because Israel went up. Everything goes back to Israel. That, well, that's what the brother said to that man that came up. Verse 8. You have forgotten the everlasting power that brought you up. And you have grieved Jerusalem that nursed you. For when he, for when she saw the wrath of Yahweh coming upon you, she said, Hearken, O ye that dwell about Zion. God, Yahweh hath brought upon me great mourning. For I saw the captivity of my sons and daughters, which the everlasting brought upon them. With joy did I nourish them, but sent them away with weeping and mourning. Let no man rejoice over me, a widow and forsaken of many, who for the sins of my children am left desolate, because they departed from the law of, of, of God. They knew not his statutes, nor walked in, the, in his ways of his commandments, nor trod in paths of discipline in his righteousness. Let them that dwell about Zion come, and remember ye the captivity of my sons and daughters, which the everlasting had brought upon them. So it goes back, all, and it's talking about everything. There's a part, there's, oh, the part you just read, a couple of scriptures that we were talking about earlier. Uh, they, they knew not his statutes, nor walk in the ways of his commandments, nor trod in the paths of discipline in his righteousness. Yeah, well, that part. The brother, that the brother was talking about earlier, the whole thing about discipline. You didn't want to maintain order. You didn't want to... All you had to do, man, was wait just for a little bit. Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai, man, when he spoke to Israel in the beginning, he said, it's only for a little bit of time. Paul even said that what we're going through now is only for a light of... It said for a light affliction. That's a small amount of time. But you people just rolled over, thinking that we're going to have to endure for thousands of years before he gives us a city that's going to be perpetually uh, ruled for. Come on, man. That's where the brothers are always getting on y'all people, saying that the Most High is not, he's not, he's, a, he's merciful. He's, he's, he's gracious. He's a beautiful, he's a perfect power. He, he balances things according to, according to his creation. With man, he doesn't make a man go through an eternity or, or, or for millions of years of evolving and then only give us uh, 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 you know, just this. This only this happened in a short amount of time. Y'all people think that we have to wait eternity to get something that's so precious. The Most High is being extremely merciful with 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 the uh, with the gifts that He's given us. Okay. It says uh, in Baruch four and fifteen, for He has brought a nation upon them from far, a shameless nation. And of a strange language who neither reverence old man nor pity child. These have carried away the dear beloved children of the widow and left her that was alone desolate without knowledge. But what can I help you? For he that brought these plagues upon you will deliver you from the hands of your enemies. It's just, it, it, it all just, it, it, one, the scriptures are true. It backs up everything that's in Deuteronomy. The curses. It said that you should be given into a, into a strange people. Who, who It says that exactly right there. And it says that they that you shall serve their gods. And they'll have no pity upon you or your children. Come on, man. Verse 18. Uh, Baruch 4 and 18. For he that brought these plagues upon you will deliver you from the hands of your enemies. We're going to get salvation by Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, the elect. The Israelites, the neighbor Latino, the Native American Indians here in America. The elect, if you're not the elect, you're going to die here with the heathen in America. Verse 19, go your way, O my children, go your way. I am not desolate. I have put out the clothing of peace and put on me the sacrament of my prayer. We're going to be delivered from our enemies. 
the ones that are, are over us right now, the so-called white man. All right, you, you got the other nations ruling over us. Mainly, but mainly, but mainly, but mainly it's on the so-called white man. Right? He's our number one enemy. Right? He's the one that's, and he's the one that keeps pulling these lies over you so that you will understand or believe these scriptures. Like the scripture, if you get the one in Baruch chapter just two, where it talks about, uh, or chapter three, where it says, uh, or no, uh, it says here, yeah, yeah, right there, uh, three and eight, chapter three, verse eight. Baruch three and eight. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. We're still under. We're still under in slavery under Esau, the so-called white man. We're still under our enemies. We're still in. We're still in this hell. We're not delivered yet. We're not. We're not scattered. Is like the brother was saying. We were, we were put out through other nations. We were dispersed. All right. For a reproach and a curse, mm -hmm. and to be subject to payments. We're subject to them. We're subject to the payments of our enemies. That's who we're paying them to. We're under. We're under the so-called white man's. We're under maritime law. We're under this, uh, these crazy ass payments, these, these oppressing laws, these bills. All right. According to all the iniquities of our fathers, which departed from the Lord our power. And, and you notice, man, Esau is very oppressive to us. Very oppressive. So, and it said, according to the law, or to the sins of our father, forefathers, right? You say that? According to all the iniquities of our fathers. According to all the iniquities. So if. And you know what? It's funny that it was said like that because we were telling you that y'all have a long ass track record. Track record. There's a lot of crime that's been committed on the earth by these people as well, by the two thirds of these people that they gotta pay for. It. And they're paying for it by, by, by Esau doing what he's doing, even though he's very oppressive. So you can't say that you're innocent. You can't say that you you can't say that what he's doing uh, you don't deserve it. Even though, in a, in a way, we also don't deserve it because he he overdoes everything, but we got a lot to pay for, and we're paying for it. And we're, we're, right now, we're paying for it. The man of the high, but the men that are out in the highways of Bowers, we're paying for it, but in a righteous way by Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. He's allowing certain things to happen so we can gain, we can get our judgment on us, so we're not found guilty by the blood of the world. But we're still not going to be paid by by who? Our enemies. Only Israel will be saved. Only Israel. And and, uh, and I was gonna bring it out. This video, uh, my chick just showed a video to me. Uh, I don't know if it was uh, Instagram or tw uh, Facebook, but uh, this past Saturday night, the, 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 this Edomite family had put, put posted a video of uh, they gave their two little uh, little bratty ass baby daughters. Uh, some presents, and they were uh, there were two dolls, and they were black, they were Negro dolls, you know, and the the parents immediately started laughing because they knew what was going to happen. They knew that these these children were not going to like these dolls because they were Negro dolls or black babies, and what and the, 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 they they recorded the kids while they were laughing, saying, "Do you like the presents?" And the kids were throwing fits. They're like, no, you know, no. They were like, we don't. We know the enemy hates us. We know they don't like us. We we know that they want to continue to be ruling over us. But that's not gonna. That's not how it's gonna happen. In the kingdom, you're, you're gonna hate it when you see Negro images coming down from the heavens, oh, having having being uh, uh, redeemed. You're gonna hate that. You're gonna hate when you're in the kingdom. And you see nothing but Negro and dark-skinned uh, men and women and children ruling over you. That's how it's going to be in the kingdom. That's what we're waiting on. Everlasting salvation. The say, everlasting salvation. It's going to be sore to your eyes, Esau, whenever you're not in power anymore. It tells you in Revelations, you're not going to want to repent or apologize for what you did when you're in the kingdom. Uh, this is Baruch uh, 4 and 
22 for my hope is in the everlasting, and he will save you. And joy has come unto me from the Holy One because of the mercy which shall soon come unto you from the everlasting, our Savior. There you go. For I sent you out with mourning and weeping, but Yahweh will give you to me again with joy and gladness forever. Like as, like as now the neighbors of Zion have seen your captivity, so shall they see shortly your salvation from our God, yep. which so, shall come upon you with great glory and brightness of everlasting, of the everlasting. There you go. It, it, it's going to shortly come, and it shortly is coming. Like we always tell you, man, we already know you. The enemy has a short time. The enemy knows they have a short time. You saw the elites, the higher up they know who your neighbor Latinos and Native American Indians are. The, the, the Israelites. Like that word Indian, they, they get that word from in Dios, in, in the Lord, in God. It, that's how they come up with that word Indian, in Dios. All right, Dios means Lord. So, I mean, they know when they came over here with Christopher Columbus, they came with the Hebrew interpreters, you know, the brother Kazakh breaks all that down real good. The, 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 the Aztecs, the Mayans, uh, all the way down, the Peruvians, all the way down to Chile, in uh, the, the, the islands, the Bahamas, the... Uh, the Dominican Republican, the, Dem the, the, Dominic the Dominican Republic, which is you all Haitians and you Dominicans, you are Israelites, you Puerto Ricans are Israelites, man. Right. Esau, they know about you. You know? Christopher Columbus down near fucking deemed himself that he was uh, the, the man that was spoken of in uh, uh, Second Edris, was it 13? That came out the Great Sea, that water upon the Great Mountain. They said that was him. He said, dude, all his enemies talking about you Indians. He, he, he was doing all that too. He's a damn devil. But they know that you're Israelites. They know y'all come from the tribe of, uh, from, from, uh, from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. They know it. Except for you. But the Spirit revealed it to the elders, and now we're trying to show that same information to you. To get you out of that, that spell, that, that, uh, uh, that delusion that you're under, that spell that you're under by Esau. Like it says in Galatians in the chapter 1, where it says, who's bewitched you? You know, you've been bewitched, man, by your enemy. You've been enchanted. That's why the Lord says, look not upon a woman's beauty. It ain't talking about a literal woman. It's talking spiritual. It's talking about this, 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 the way of life, the way of living. Knowledge was not understanding. Because you think that the heathens are, 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 are they have it, they have a right power, a good power with them, a God, because they're prosperous in this life. No, man. You have to understand that you fucked up and you have to go through this hell. You have to go through this hell in order to get right and to inherit the kingdom. The scriptures tell you that you cannot inherit the kingdom if you don't get fucking put in check. If you're not suffering. Baruch 2 and 27. It says, Oh Lord our God. Thou hast dealt with us after all thy goodness, and according to all that great mercy of thine. As thou spakest by thy servant Moses in the day, when thou didst command him to write thy law before the children of Israel, saying, If you will not hear my voice, surely this very great multitude shall be turned into a small number among the nations, where I will scatter them. For I knew that they would not hear me, because it is a stiff-necked people. But in, but in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. And shall, and shall know that I am the Lord their God. For I will give them in heart and ears to hear. And they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name. And that's only the elect. The only elect are the ones that are going to be doing that. The rest of you are going to continue in your, uh, in, your, in your ways of life. That you've always known and you will continue to know until the missiles come. Alright. And again, uh, IUIC, there it goes again. That we're going to uh, think upon his name. What name are you thinking upon? You gotta put all your energy into one thing. You can't fucking have three different options because then you, 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 you deceive yourself. You won't know what what's what. So what name are you calling on? Man? We already know what name y'all are called. Y'all call on. Basically, it's the same. Whatever God that you think is fit. You call on one name, man. That's Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Yahweh Shai Mashiach. That says, and they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name and return from their stiff neck and from their wicked deeds. For they shall remember the way of their fathers which, which sinned before the Lord. And I will bring them again into the land which I promised 
with an oath unto their fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and they shall be lords of it. And I will increase them, and they shall not be diminished. And I will make an everlasting covenant with them to be their God, and they shall be my people. And I will no more drive my people of Israel 